This is question number eight and uh, part A, you are told, explain how the presence of chloroplast in guard cells affect the opening of uh, stomata. So you can answer this question by saying chlor uh, chloroplast are site of photosynthesis are sites of photosynthesis during the day uh, during the day uh, photosynthesis take place takes place takes place glucose is manufactured is manufactured uh, uh, glucose being glucose this is you glucose being osmotically active increases the internal concentration of guard cell increases internal concentration of guard cells Of guard cells, water is drawn into guard cell. Is drawn. Water is drawn uh, in guard cells. Guard cell becomes turgid. Guard cell become turgid, uh, bulging, outward. The unequal, the unequal expansion, unequal in expansion. Of the guard cell cell result in opening of the stomata results in result in the opening of the stomata uh, result in the that opening uh, opening of the stomata so that is how you explain uh, how the presence of chloroplast in guard cells affect the opening of uh, the stomata if you explain something close to that uh, that would make sense uh, then you should be able to get five marks. So that's how you answer that. Let's go to part B of this question. This is question number eight, part B. Uh, describe how various environmental factors affect the rate of photosynthesis. And this question is 15 marks. Part A was five marks, so you get a total of 20. Uh, so external we are talking of environmental factors we can start by uh, explaining the effect of carbon carbon for oxide or carbon dioxide so carbon carbon dioxide carbon dioxide we say carbon dioxide 
or in it, let's put it the way it is written uh, carbon 4 oxide which is the same as carbon dioxide is a raw material for photosynthesis is a raw material for photosynthesis an increase in an increase in uh, CO2 leads to an increase in the rate of photosynthesis leads to an increase in the rate of so in the in the rate of the rate of photosynthesis uh, up to a given optimum up to a given optimum beyond the optimum beyond the optimum the rate of photosynthesis remain constant the rate of photosynthesis remains constant due to other limiting factors uh, due to other limiting factors due to other limiting uh, factors so that is one environmental factor that affect the rate of uh, photosynthesis the other one is right intensity so we have that is one the second one is right intensity and here we can say or uh, we can uh, uh, intensity or quality uh, this we can say light provides uh, light intensity or qu and quality of uh, light so here we can uh, talk of uh, uh, intensity and quality of light so we can say light provides energy required light provides energy required required energy required energy required for photosynthesis for photosynthesis the rate of photosynthesis increases the rate of photosynthesis Uh, increases up to optimum level up to optimum level up to optimum level uh, the rate of uh, the rate of photosynthesis The rate of photosynthesis remains uh, constant remains constant after optimum optimum level 
optimum level uh, due to other limiting factors. Other limiting factors. Uh, so that is how the light intensity and quality of light affects the uh, the rate of photosynthesis. Let's have a look at the temperature and uh, water. The other factor, the other factor is uh, we talk of uh, temperature, temperature. So in temperature, we say low temperature inactivate enzymes. Uh, low temperature inactivate inactivate enzymes that's reducing the rate of photosynthesis that's reducing the rate of photosynthesis The rate of photosynthesis as temperature increases the rate of photosynthesis increases as temperature increases increases as temperature increases uh, the rate of photosynthesis increases the rate of photosynthesis increases uh, so up to optimum level up to optimum level up to optimum level uh, uh, so we say uh, higher temperatures higher temperatures higher temperatures uh, above optimum level above optimum the denatures denatures enzyme reducing the rate of photosynthesis and and denatures uh, denatures enzymes Reducing the rate of photosynthesis, reducing the rate of of photosynthesis. So that is how you are supposed to explain about temperature. It is an environmental factor that affects the rate of uh, photosynthesis. We have seen that. Uh, a low temperature will, will, uh, will, will, not, will not have uh, the rate of photosynthesis uh, will make uh, the enzyme inactive uh, temp as temperature increases the rate of photosynthesis increases up to optimum level higher temperatures about optimum level uh, denatures enzyme reducing the rate of photosynthesis lastly we talk of water so in terms of water is water is a raw material water is a raw material a raw material for photosynthesis raw material for photosynthesis it influences it influences influences the opening and closure of the stomata the opening opening 
uh, that is uh, opening and closing of uh, stomata. It influences the closing and opening of the stomata, which in turn affect, which in turn affects affects the and the, uh, affect diffusion of uh, diffusion of carbon oxide carbon dioxide of carbon uh, oxide carbon dioxide uh, which is uh, we call it co2 so that is uh, co2 into the leaf uh, and that is what we started with uh, carbon dioxide which we said it is a raw material so the water also influences uh, the the rate of uh, photosynthesis so that's how you answer that question uh, number eight and if you explain it uh, the way i've done or something similar close to that uh, should be able to score 20 marks just like question number seven so that's the end of the biology paper two